$100 for $1,000 to go to the Hey everyone, I'm Andrea and you're watching the Texas State Aquarium's monthly webisode of The Current. In this YouTube program, we will be taking a look into what the Aquarium's Enrichment Program is all about, and we will be covering the Aquarium's second annual Green Halloween event. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch every month for The Current so you don't miss any exciting news or events. Here at the Aquarium, our animal keepers create environments that provide stimulating lives for our animals with opportunities to engage in natural behavior, be more active, and have more control over their environments. Enrichment helps satisfy both the physical and psychological needs of animals and allows them to make choices. Aquarius Ryan is joining us from Tortuga K to explain more about enrichment. Thanks for joining us, Ryan. Thanks for having me. What type of enrichment do the marine animals here at the aquarium get? Well, our sea turtles here at Tortuga K get mostly food-based enrichment, like broccoli shoved in the rockwork or jellyfish. Uh, today, they're getting jack-o'-lanterns. How does enrichment help the animals? Enrichment helps animals like our sea turtles by stimulating naturalistic behaviors such as foraging for food or hunting for food. If someone wants to donate an enrichment item, how would they do so? If you wish to donate an enrichment item for our sea turtles or other marine life here at the aquarium, you can visit our website at texasstateaquarium.org where we have an enrichment item wish list. The aquarium was excited to announce a significant gift from the Valero Energy Corporation on September 4th. Valero gifted the aquarium with a generous $500,000 donation to benefit our new Caribbean wing. The major gift will sponsor the new entryway into the Caribbean journey experience, helping to introduce guests to the sights, sounds, and vibrant wildlife of the Western Caribbean. Well, we're glad to do this, and uh, this sponsorship is going to go towards the new entryway that will be a piece of introducing all your guests uh, to the exciting experience that's going to happen through the Caribbean journey. So Valero's pleased to do this. And Please to continue our partnership with the Texas State Aquarium. Thank you all so much. Groundbreaking is scheduled for later this year. For more information about Campaign Caribbean, please visit texasstateaquarium.org backslash Caribbean. And we'll be right back after this message. Aquarium's Sensational Sustainable Seafood Cooking class is back and we'll have a very special class focusing on lionfish. Joining us today is Jessica from our Education Department. Thanks so much for joining us today, Jessica. Yeah, absolutely. Can you tell us a little bit more about the Sensational Sustainable Seafood Cooking classes we have here at the Aquarium? I sure can. Uh, this year we're actually following a new format. Uh, we're going to have a few quarterly larger events, kind of really focus on specific topics like the one coming up. Okay. And what exactly will they be talking about? Uh, this month, on October 21st, we're actually reintroducing our lionfish event. And we're going to have a guest speaker panel. They're going to discuss the encroachment of lionfish in our area, specifically Corpus Christi Bay and further out in the Gulf. Okay. And who's the guest chef going to be? Our guest chef is our very own Water's Edge Catering is joining us, as well as a few other special guests. Okay, wonderful. And how does someone go about reserving a spot? Uh, they can call here at 361-653-2654. Uh, with their names and the numbers of people in their party, okay. or they can send an email at jgrumman, that's J-G-R-U-M-M-A-N, at txstateaq.org. And again, October special Lionfish edition of this sensational sustainable seafood cooking class is $20 for members and $25 for non-members. And if you want more information, give Jessica a call at 361-653-2654. Earlier we had a chance to talk to Aquarius Ryan and we saw what type of enrichment the sea life received. Joining us now is animal husbandry trainer Autumn to tell us what enrichment our wild flight animals receive. Thanks for joining us Autumn. 
All right, well, we are gonna be bringing out Mortimer, who is our residential turkey vulture. Turkey vultures in their native habitat are often found eating dead things. That is their favorite to eat roadkill. And because of this, they actually have a very great sense of smell. They are one of the only birds of prey to have an excellent sense of smell, birds at all, actually. And this allows them to find their delicious rotting food. And so today we've set up some enrichment for her that involves finding pieces of her food in bags filled with a bunch of fun things for her to rip up and shred. Our next animal we're gonna be looking at is Sonora, and she is a white-nosed coati. White-nosed coatis are found in the southwestern US, but generally more into Mexico and Central America. And they are very scent-dominated in their lifestyle. You'll notice she has a very long snout and a large nose, and she uses that to find her delicious foods she likes to eat, which involves tarantulas and scorpions. So we found another really creepy thing to give her for enrichment today, some jello worms, which is something that she would be interested in because they smell good. She really likes scents, and it is something that has a different texture for her to taste and to smell and to touch. And she uses her long claws to kind of paw through them so that she can see what is there, kind of take assessment of the situation. And then she's really going to enjoy the different scents and different enriching qualities that these little jello worms bring to the situation. This is Nacho and she is a red-legged Siriema and they look kind of like model chickens. They have these very long legs that allow them to run and that's because they like to run after snakes. They are actually kind of like nature's pest control. Their natural behavior is to pick up snakes and lizards and to slam them so that they are immobilized and then they can eat them. So we have just taken advantage of this and allowed her to play with the plastic snake and have taught her to snake slam as one of her enrichment quality times. And also she has the frozen juice brain because she too likes to explore things with her beak a lot. They are very active at trying to find insects and lizards and snakes and so it's important to have items that they can pick out with their beaks. Hi, my name is Lauren and I am a trainer too in the bird and mammal department right here at the Texas State Aquarium. Now, today we're gonna to meet a African serval. His name is Kimani, and these guys are amazing hunters. Now, a serval has the ability to jump 10 feet straight into the air and snatch something out of the sky. They can also jump 20 feet horizontally and reach speeds up to 50 miles an hour. So sometimes that can be kind of hard to go ahead and show here in a zoological setting. So what we've done today is we've set up some great enrichment for him. What we've actually set up is a bunch of streamers so that he can go ahead and show off some of his hunting techniques. He's gonna be able to pounce and run and grab and rip. Right now, during the fall season, we do have our wild flight show every day at 11.30 and 2.30, so make sure you come by and see some of our amazing animals in action during the show. Back to you, Andrea. And we'll be right back after this message. an immersive experience. The aquarium's second annual Green Halloween Party is right around the corner, and we will be offering a bunch of spectacular activities perfect for you and your family to enjoy, including free admission for kids in the costume all day long, a costume contest, creepy animal enrichment sessions, trick-or-treating with all-natural candy, spooky dive show, eco-friendly arts and crafts, and all activities are free with admission. And now, here are a couple of events you can expect to see this month here at the Aquarium. Interested in becoming a volunteer? The Aquarium will be having a volunteer information session on Saturday, October 11th at 9 a.m. in the TSA boardroom. For more information, please visit our website at texasstateaquarium.org. Come to Sea Lab for homeschool science classes on Wednesday, October 15th. Each class is unique and employs hands-on discovery activities. Classes are available for grades kindergarten through 12th. For information and reservations, please contact Randy Slayton at 361-881-1200 or visit our website at texasstateaquarium.org. That's all for this month on The Current. Thanks for joining us and be sure to tune in next time to see what's going on at the Texas State Aquarium. For more information about the aquarium or anything you saw in this program, you can visit our website at texasstateaquarium.org. See you next month.